Hey guys, MTG Noob here, jumping in another Esper 2-man. Um, this hand's very risky. It has a lot of low drops, but if I don't hit a second land on 2, I'm like super screwed, so I'm just going to mull this. And I think I'll be mulling this as well. And we'll be keeping this. Not exceptional by any means, but we have 2 card draw spells and 3 mana. I have no white mana, so that's going to suck. Looks like we're playing against zombies, of course. When we have a crap hand, we play against an aggro deck. But there's not much you could do about that. Black-red zombies, in my opinion, with this deck is very difficult to beat. So he did not come out of the gate with a blazing fast start, which is very f good for me, I guess you can say. But not exceptional. Um, I'm going to be doing this on this turn, but I'm at least going to pretend I have a dissipate. Where looks like he's more red. This is the supposed mountain of doom because it always comes when you have messenger in hand and you can't cast it. I do like that art on that mountain, by the way. Looks pretty sweet. All right, so we are looking for a white source, and as much as I want to take a Jace here. We have to just get this white source. Jace would be pretty nice. Okay, looks like we're uh, doing it again here, boys. We're going to alchemy and hope he doesn't play Hellrider. Even, like, even this board state, like where we're at, is just it's such a disadvantage. The fact that he's not playing anything outside of that is probably the most amazing thing ever for us. But still. Um, I guess I want another glacial here. Okay, Augur of Bolus is a welcome sight. Let's not tap our white source like a dummy. Okay, let's try to get some cards that are good for us. In this case, that is not one of them. All right, and either he's just insanely disciplined or he's not had anything. I have a strong feeling he's been playing disciplined where he more or less has been holding until I tap out um, so that he could stick something. It's going to really suck if this turn he has a dragon. Dragon would be no good. If he doesn't have anything on this turn, I'd be so shocked. Here comes an aristocrat. It's like the Men in Black song. This is actually a pretty good board state for us. Block, block. I could block aristocrat for a pretty good amount of time. He sacks here. Of. Our guy dies. Of. Let's see if he's got no follow up, which is great. That was a very nice draw as well. I think I go aggro here, stupid as it is. I don't think we could win against this deck if we just we just sit back. Now the problem is if he ends up having the dragon we just are just cinnamon toast crunch. But there's nothing we could do. I mean Worst comes to worst. He has dragon. We take nine. We go to five and die. <laughs> but I don't think we're in a position where we can really do anything. We have a wall of lingering souls. So if he has it, he has it. He's got something. Oh, another one. This detention sphere is going to be amazing. Wow. When you are doing that with the aggro deck, 
that means you sir are losing now the thing is he's actually going to get to save one well that was wrong apparently he's never played this deck you do that in response okay so we are playing spells here can't play this unfortunately but we can thought scour okay he's got cavern which makes all of our counter spells terrible but nonetheless hopefully that's not for reals it looks like it's for real which Definitely sucks. Get in his land. Okay, all of our flyers die. We go to nine. I don't know why he just wouldn't play dragon last turn. I guess he really wanted to uh, have it uncounterable. Target ourselves, draw a pike. Wonder if we could just win with pike here. I don't think so. We do have eleven spells in the graveyard. Not spells, excuse me. One, two, three, four, four spells in the yard. If there's another dragon we just lose. Hmm. So what's the best play here? Can't do everything we want to do. Can't even put him on a good clock here. Supreme Verdict plays another dragon. We need to hit land to play a Lingering Souls and a Pike, and we're at four, and he's got three cards in hand. Yeah, even though he's not playing it very well, I think we're not going to win this game. I think my best play is just to play Lingering Souls and flash it back. And hope no dragons. Well, we know he doesn't have a counter spell. Which is good, but he might just have another dragon here and then we'll just lose. So we're going to have six. Can't quite kill him. We still have four spells in the yard. Super chump block. Super chump block. Okay, the Iograph Ghoul, he's gonna not make a grave crawler. Okay. Okay, we play Pike. Whip Pike. All right, I'm going to get greedy here. And we're going to hope he doesn't have a Searing Spear. Fingers crossed, no Searing Spear. All 
All right. That was pretty good. I, mean, I would think this should be in play. But maybe he's just getting used to the deck. Currently we have a 6-3 first striker. Which is pretty strong. And he's, I guess, got to keep mana open. For the fact that we are threatening a lethal aerial attack. That is fine by me. Okay, so he mortars my guy, he pillars my other guy. He rebuys Grave Crawler. And he taps all of his red mana. He's not gonna block with that. So he's basically saying, okay. Well, that's a good one. Kill your dragon. And win. All right, seems good. So how do we beat this deck? Well, first and foremost, these are gonna come in this is going to come in. This is coming in. This might come in. Sonoring Growth, no. Drug Squirrel Reaver, too slow. Tamio, in my opinion, is too slow. Jace, at least fogs. Um, negates. They don't counter the creatures, and I think the creatures are what kills you. Feeling of dread seem good. Um, I find that their grave crawlers and stuff coming back hurts you pretty bad. I don't think I want all of these, but if that's the case, I'm going to take out some lingering souls. Um, so let's cut these thought scours since we're debating these rest in pieces. This is the stuff for a debate over here. We need a win condition, so possibly Tamio. Pretty sure I don't want any of this stuff. I might want a negate, but I'm pretty sure I don't. So feeling of dread, yes. Ultimate prices, yes. Bolus, augers, yes. Zorius charm seems like a maybe. Putting things back on top is not good, but as you saw, the life link was very relevant. D spheres, yes. Forbidden alchemies don't really do much. Dissipates a little bit slow. If I'm bringing in the rest in pieces, then lingering souls become worse. Jaces are fine. Curses are fine. Alright, Sinx's Revelation seems like a must, so we have to cut two cards currently. Kind of like the Tamios. I think we need the Lingering Souls. Evil Twin could probably do work. I don't think we want a mi I, I don't think we want a Miser's Rest in Peace. Alright, let's run this for now, and... We might want the rest in peace. As you can see, the rest in peace is definitely difficult to run against. Okay, so depending on what he plays here, it's going to determine what I play. That probably makes it so. I want the black source untapped. It's unfortunate I might have to play this on two instead of this. Knight of Infamy. Got it. Okay, pro white is also a beating. Um, I can't take four here, so I'm gonna go ultimate price, ultimate price when he goes to combat. Then on our turn, we'll play this 
So ultimate price this, the next term, well, ultimate price. So we'll take two here. Hopefully he's got no follow up. Be awesome if he's mana screwed. Nope, of course not. <laughs> Alright, this is a messenger, that's a problem. God, we're at 13 and he's done absolutely nothing. I'd love to hold up Dissipate there, but I don't think I can. This perfect curve out is its very difficult to beat. Not in love with this play at all. But on my turn, I'm probably going Feeling of Dread. And I took an extra point there, but... Okay, well, we're most likely in trouble here. We can flash this back, which is nice. But we'll see what he has. Cavern, oh god, don't name dragon. Vampire. Okay, so a vampire is coming down. Right on time, Cavern of Souls. Thanks, bro. Okay, we're we're dead. I don't see how we win this. Um, sure, flash this back. Like even now, if we draw a sweeper, which we don't have white mana for it, we're in trouble. I don't think I don't think he just beat draws like that. He's got the nut for the most part. All right, Augur of Bolas will do some things hopefully. That's, oh, Jesus Christ, I meant to put that on the bottom. All right, well, this one's toast anyway. I meant to make Lingering Souls in hand, and for whatever reason, I was thinking that would have put that on the bottom. I guess we'll play this out so we can see how terrible I am. All right, you get tapped, you get tapped. And then we take two... And go to seven. So on our turn, we would have been able to, assuming we draw land, play Lingering Souls, and Feeling of Dread. Right, that does not bother me. That should be aimed at my face all the time. You could have had me a two. All right, yeah, that wouldn't have helped anyway. I mean, you know what? I'm going to play out Jace, see if he wants to attack Jace. Maybe he'll give me an extra turn. Save time and crack this now. Let's see if he wants to attack Jace or just kill me. Do your worst. <laughs> Completely tapped out. Ah, uh, they're all coming at me. Yeah, you never know. You never know. Okay, so that being the case, uh, dissipates are pretty terrible. And I think we want rest in peace, but I don't know if I could win without. Like, if we're going rest in peace, like, we're losing so many more cards. Like, these become super bad. All of these become pretty awful if we go rest in peace. Do we think we're going to make it to this? I think we need the Lingering Souls.
I think having the Lingering Souls is worth it over the rest in peace. As much as I want to stop grave crawlers and messengers, I don't think it's worth it. So that being the case, I mean, this will probably put us back in the game if we ever make it that far. Let's put these in. Caught an alchemy. They seem a little bit slow. Mm, do we get greedy? You know we're going to get punished if we play this, right? Super punished. Okay, let's uh, run this back. Maybe I want one rest in peace over for building an alchemy. You know what? One might be worth it. I know it's it's a no. No, it's not. It can't be worth it. Okay. Here goes nothing. I will keep this. And it's pretty awful, but this makes all my lands come in untapped. We have a Jace and a Curse, and pretty much all of our mana. Oh, if only I had a rest in peace. Alright, that's a good one. That's probably the best one we can draw. Okay, I won't mess up the Augur this turn. You come to hand. It's unfortunate I've got to ship the best friends, but it is what it is. Okay, now it's going to suck if he has Knight of Infamy here, but I just want to survive to this. Because this is terrible against Knight of Infamy. Okay, that's fine. He knows we have Lingering Souls, and he can't do anything about it. Hmm. It might have been better just to... Um, feeling of Dread there. So then I don't lose dudes. It's pretty much a freebie to swing with those guys. But if that wants to be his turn, that's fine by me. Unless he has Brimstone Volley, which kind of sucks, but I'm all good with that. Okay, fifth land. Right on time. Jace plus. So now he's going to have to spend the majority of his turn dealing with Jace unless he has a Hellrider here, which I can see totally. Yep, every F in time. It never fails where they have Hellrider. But that's alright. <laughs> I'm going to kill the Hellrunner. And I'm just going to let Jace die. And basically, we just fogged for a turn. Which is unfortunate. Oh, I'm not going to kill the Hellrunner. I'm just going to. I guess we're going to block it. All right, so on our turn, we're going to curse. Hmm. Let's see. Well, we do have this flashback. Yeah, I think holding Jace is important. Wait, what? Oh, they're one ones. Oh, god damn it. That was me being an idiot. Alright, so Curse is going to knock a lot of these out. God, what is wrong with... Them? 
All right, so back on track. See what this is. Hopefully, it's not another Hellrider. Oh, just a dragon. All right, well, we're uh, gonna be in trouble. Because unless we draw a good old Supreme Verdict, we're going to be in trouble. All right, so we're taking six here, which is unfortunate, but let us get it in. I have feeling of dread in hand, so that's always good. Hollowed Fountain. No. Okay, well, play Lingering Souls. Pass. We just really hope he doesn't have another dragon. Multiple dragons are going to be an issue for us. Okay, so a little feeling of dread here. Tap down his guys. Another curse, which is excellent. Curse him. And we'll pass. We're still not out of the woods at all. At all. Like Mizium mortars kills us. So many things kills us. But we do have a bunch of lingering souls in the yard. Okay, I find that odd that he wants to throw his Hellrider away. This totally means he has burn in hand. Like maybe two brimstone volleys put me to two and finishing me, finish me off with like a searing spear. Chapel. Okay, um, be bone if he draws another dragon, but I think I gotta kind of. Be aggressive here. And then I can maybe Azorius Charm. As long as he doesn't draw another dragon, we're looking okay. That's totally fine. Okay. Gonna swing. He's gonna probably eat a token. Just fine by me. I'm gonna do this now. Which is for four. So we'll gain four life. Draw four cards. One of them Soren being very good. Ugh, disgusting. So bonfire me down to nine. Swing at me down to six or eleven, eight. Very obnoxious. Of course, I don't have Feeling of Dread either. Thank you, Miracle Mechanic. You are amazing. Alright, um... 
two, three, four. I don't know if I did that right. Let's do that. How do we lose? We lose if we just sit here and let him do things. We need some ultimate prices. Yeah, of course. That's fine. Of course I can do nothing about that. Of course Messenger is actually amazing against me now as it puts me down to 6. Down to 4. I draw a card here, but I don't want to. Okay, let's make... Soren Good guy Gain two life another messenger just straight up kills me as Sad as this is I think I have to do this now And just go to six. So we're at six, we have feeling of dread. I don't think we can lingering souls here. This is fine. I'm just going to kill that instead of feeling of dread. See if he swings. Swing at me. I don't see how I can go to four. Do that. Do that. Swing him down to two. Just pass. I don't want to lose my tokens to a dragon. Pretty much dead to top decks here. Any any burn spell kills us. I'm gonna try to mill myself here. And this way I can end up maybe getting some card draw in the yard. Nope. All right, so we have to survive this turn, and we're at five. Okay, so we'll do that. And we have both of these in the yard. Soren on three. As long as we don't get Miracle Bond fired, we should be okay. Unless he has two burn spells and he's just been slow rolling them. Okay, we'll mill ourselves.
and we'll make our dudes bigger because we want to gain the life. See if we win. Yay, we won. We didn't deserve that game, but whew, that was good. All right, thanks for watching. Please check out the mtgnoob.com.